Okay, my lighting is not that great, but please forgive me. You don't have to see me. You just have to see the video. I love this brother. He's from Ghana and he is in Tobago, my hometown, not even my hometown, but I used to live there for almost a year. And in that time, I felt at home with the Africans. Unfortunately, I had to leave because I left that relationship. So I went back home to my family to get my footing. But at the same time, I really, really, really connected with the people. Tobago and Trinidad, but especially Tobago for me, have a lot of African culture. What is important is that people who are of the same tribe, and what I mean is that people who realize that we need to be unifying now. We need to understand that we are kin and stop playing. How they said, don't make joke. That's what they say in Trinidad. So here we go. Let me let you hear the brother. Let me share my screen. And so you can hear my young brother running all around Tobago, the land I love, eating rose corn. Eating rose corn. <laughs> they never had rose corn like that. The tea and the rose corn. Salt. No salt. We don't need salt. We don't even need I butter. I feel like taking it to the sea. <laughs> because and just dip into the sea and start eating. We don't need salt. Let me tell you something, man. Tobago is undiscovered. Tobago is on top. Like, the island is surrounded by two oceans, eh? The Caribbean Ocean and the Atlantic, which I have it in my country. I believe this is Atlantic because it's not blue. When you get to the and Caribbean the side, I mean the Caribbean Sea Caribbean of Tobago, sea. it's so pristine, man. I've never seen anything like that before. So I'm telling you, come visit Tobago eat corn and go relax on the beautiful Caribbean Sea. You know you can see people look just like him, his brother, his cousin. So I made it to the field where the goat racing takes place racing. and I can't believe that something like this really exists in Tobago. It's a nice start and I told you, um, welcome to British, get a good start already at the past the halfway stage of this come. It seems to be welcome the British, welcome the British is pulling up past the line, welcome the British wins the classic. I mean when it comes to goats, it's one of my favorite meats, but all I am seeing here in Tobago is that they use goats for racing. Yeah, and they sell the goats too. Because I know of um, horse racing, and for goats, it's for barbecue. <laughs> well, and they eat goats too. Do they fight each other? No, really, if they boot that in there. Ah, they because if you have goats. these two goats in Ghana, they will start fighting each other. So, what are you going to do today? The goats are what breed is this? This is Sinan. Okay. Sinan, mixed with Anglo. Are you gonna sit on it? No. You're gonna run behind a bit and you're gonna run in front. If you sit on it, you're gonna break his back. <laughs> you're gonna walk. Walk. The, people, the race has just begun. See that when you walk around the tree a certain amount of times, the enslaved could find their way back home and they could fly away and some energies will have helped them to connect back to their homeland and they will come back. See how big it is? You can wrap your hand around it. Yeah. It's said to be a very, very powerful tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, there was one time that I was out um, somewhere and I took a picture of this beautiful tree. The roots were so strong up in, I forget which part of Tobago I was in, but if I find the picture, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it because I, I was just so like, drawn to the tree found, found the picture, picture of the beautiful tree i took when i was in the mountains in tobago isn't it beautiful this is something i firmly believe while people are trying to survive on the continent right and some people don't even have time to study um their culture because they've been taught it's ugly it's dark it's um like uh, what do you call it, back bush, it's some primitive way. 
and we are all modern and things like that, and it doesn't even matter, what you will find is that people outside of Africa is going to teach those from Africa that were born in Africa how to cherish their culture all over again. And you'll start asking more questions from your grandmothers, your grandfathers, your uncles and aunts, because you'll really grow to appreciate your culture, especially when you see and you go certain places and you see how people respect their own culture. And I don't mean being puffed up and all of that. It's just a knowing and just keeping it alive. Keeping it alive is most important. So I just happened to stumble upon this video and while I was in my room cleaning up, throwing out some old papers and something. Today I wasn't really on social media. I wasn't on my phone. I just wanted a kind of quiet day. And so I ran across his brother, and I'm so happy that he didn't just go to Tobago to be, I want to eat the food. I want to get on the, um, go in the sea. I want to just do some snorkeling. And he just said, hee hee. No, he went there to connect with his brothers and sisters. He said, I found Africa in Tobago. That's what I want all of y'all to do. I want you to go all over the world. And when you see Africa, recognize it. When you can no longer recognize Africa, you should be concerned, very concerned. So I hope you were enlightened because I'm going to finish watching that video. <laughs> Peace and love. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.